In this experiment, you'll study conservation of energy using an inclined track. A spring is connected between one end of the track and a force sensor, which is screwed onto a dynamics cart. A motion sensor at the far end of the track measures the cart's position and velocity. The sensors are both connected to a science workshop interface, which is in turn connected to a computer with data logging software. An angle indicator will allow us to measure the incline angle of the track. Measure the mass of the cart and sensor, as well as the mass of any additional weights you might add later. These four sensors should be reset or teared before using so that an unintended offset isn't added to the measurements. Now that we have all these measurements and sensors, we can calculate the kinetic and potential energies of the cart at any point on the track. Uh, almost. We still need the stiffness constant of the spring, K, and the equilibrium position of the spring, X0, or the position at which the force is zero. We can measure the spring constant directly using this setup by beginning to take some data, and then moving the cart to different positions on the track and holding it steady for a moment. Using the statistics tool, we can extract position and force data from the chart by averaging over the time segments where we held the cart steady, and then applying a linear fit to this data to determine the spring constant and equilibrium position. Now we're finally ready to measure energies. We start taking data and give the cart a gentle push. You only need to record one or two oscillations. We're interested in measuring the energies at a point where the cart is at its greatest height, its minimum height, and roughly in between these two heights. You can extract the necessary data from your charts using this smart tool, which gives you a cursor that you can drag to different points on the chart and then read the values off. It's a good idea to repeat this experiment with different masses to see how it affects the total energy.